we're going to take a look at design options in Revit 2013. Design options is a method to actually show your design intent to the client. Sometimes the client will want to change their mind or actually see different layout or arrangements. And we're going to take a look at this at a very entry level um, way. Um, to access your design options, it's along the bottom, as here you can see here, I can simply click on it. And um, to create a new option set, we just simply hit new. So we can see in the option set, we have to have one that's going to be our primary, that's going to be incorporated into our main model. I can create a new option set from that called 2. Again, we can go in and rename these very easily. I'm just going to call this layout 1. And I'm going to call this layout 2. But you would give it a name that's logical to your actual uh, design that you're actually making. Uh, to add it to your design options in here, so we're in the main model, I'm going to go to layout 1, which is primary. What you'll actually notice is my main model will grey out in the background. So very quickly now, and say this is a classroom area, I'm going to add some architectural walls at the back. And the actual school's not too sure how the layout's going to be for, say, storage areas. So I'm going to give a couple of design options in here that they can actually use. I'm going to give one that has a lot of storage space. Maybe an area at the back that will actually have an opening. And we'll put a door in here. Here. And here. Again, I can pop out to a 3D view in here. We can take a look at this. Uh, you can see it's just a simple sketch at this stage. And we could simply edit the, the geometry of the profile in here. Just gonna simply edit and break that back. I'll get a soft warning, which we can just unjoin and draw a line in manually here. Like so. I just check the head height. It's fine. I hit the box. So we've got our options in here, so I'm gonna go back in the level zero. And when I've finished my design intent. I'm simply just going to go back into my main model. Now, it's incorporated in my main model because that actually is my primary design. I might want to give the client an alternative design in there, so I'm simply going to go to layout 2, where all this will disappear. Now in layout 2, I'm going to give a different solution. And again, all this information will actually come out in the schedule as well, which I'm not going to show it at this stage, but um, we could schedule these options out very, very easily. So I'm going to give a, a bit of an option in here. I'm going to keep it very simple. Two doors with a longer bit of storage area. And when I'm finished, I can go back in to my main model. So that's my design option one. Incorporated in my main model. And that's my layout two. And again, they will schedule totally different. Um, it's not to be confused with phases. These actually are design options. Um, and at this stage, that would be scheduling as part of my main model. The client has the right to change their mind, so they may like my design option too. So we can go in here, into our design options. We can simply select layout two, and I'm going to now make it the primary. I might get some soft warnings about relationships, which is fine, because the relationship with the stud and the cavity wall. So that now is my main design option in here because the clients change their mind. Again, if they change their mind back again, we can always go back in to layout two. So design options is a very powerful way in Revit without having to save the model out as a different file to actually communicate design intent very clearly to your client. Thanks for listening.